Two people shot a sex tape on the slides of the Senate hearing room. Marilyn Sen. Ben Cardin's office said an employee linked to the video no longer works for him. You may have already heard about the Senate sex tape. Over the last few days, the internet has been abuzz with controversy over an apparent video of a Senate staffer having sex. In a large, empty committee hearing room, debates have raged over how this could have happened, whether the leak the video was revenge porn and, of course, a series memes. The video was first revealed by conservative media outlets late Friday. The Spectator published a titled Please Stop Taking Nude Photos in the Halls of Congress. Although this story did not include video, it described the existence of a public Twitter account in which Senate staffer shared pornographic content with another man. It also referenced an of a staffer at the Senate hearing who took a photo of himself naked but in suspenders, on all fours, facing away from the camera. This was quickly followed by a sensational report by the Daily Caller which published a short video of two men having sex in the Senate hearing room. It's unclear exactly where the video came from or how it became public. But the Daily Caller reported that it was shared in a private group for gay men in politics. The staffer identified in the video worked for longtime Senator Ben Cardin, a Maryland Democrat. Media outlets have identified one of the men in the video as Aidan Meese Zorowski a junior legislative aide to Democratic Sen. Ben Cardin of Maryland. Cardin, who will retire at end of next year, has been the Senate since 2007, following a 30-year term in House of Representatives that began 1987. The lawmaker recently became Chairman Senate Foreign Relations Committee after an indictment forced the resignation of previous chairman. Democratic Sen. Bob Menendez, New Jersey. Staff no longer works for the Senate and Capitol Police are investigating incident in hearing room. On Saturday, Cardin's office released a statement saying Mies Sorowski is no longer serving in the U.S. Senate and that they would have no further comment on the matter. On LinkedIn, Mies Sorowski appears to have acknowledged the incident saying she was attacked because of the person I like to pursue a political agenda and that she is exploring her legal options. Although some of past actions have led to bad decisions, I love my job and would never disrespect workplace. Mies Sorowski said. Capitol Police told CNN that they cannot confirm details about the people in the video but that they are aware of it and are investigating it. The event took place in a large Senate hearing room where Sen. Amy Klobuchar sometimes sits. It turned out that video was shot in a huge hearing room in the Hart Senate office building, which is frequently used by Senate Judiciary Committee. The chamber has hosted numerous historic events, including most recently the confirmation hearing of S.